What's up, y'all? Here with a little uh, review or whatever. I get tired of saying this, so I'm going to say it one more time. Look, I'm not taking requests. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just not taking requests this year. I only got one more request to do, and that's to that Banks Goddess album, and then that's it. Like, I'm not doing requests this year. Like, so, I mean, it's cool if y'all mention people, but don't look for a review, because I doubt I'll review it. But other than that, salute to the subscribers, man. I just get tired of saying that. It's like, I know for some of y'all, y'all don't follow me on social media, and y'all only see me on here, but I'm not taking requests, so it is what it is. But let's get into this mixtape review. This kind of pissed me off because I thought it was going to be on iTunes and my dumb ass was on iTunes yesterday looking. It is on there now, I think. Cause I it is because I bought it. But it didn't drop on time. But we got uh, Cap One with Birdbath EP. Um, do I feel it was worth the money? Hell no. Because some of the material was previously on his last mixtape. So, I guess. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Six tracks. Two of them we already heard. Um, Birdbath, of course, is on Caviar Dreams. No Feelings featuring um, Ty Dolla Sign. I think, yeah, that was on Caviar Dreams too. But anyway, the first track, Can You See Me, is basically about his life story, you know, from the ground up. Basically, that's what you could sum it up as. Um, I, I like the beat. It was like mellow, melodic. You know, he kind of slowed with his flow and didn't use that Migos type shit. You know what I'm saying? That's obviously not his flow. But his bars was good, he was honest, so I definitely... It's different from um, the song on Caviar Dreams 2 where he opened up more introspective and it was shit about him I didn't know, so I thought that was a good thing. Um, this track 2, Birdbath, of course, you know, we already know. It's basically about dope dealing, you know what I mean? It was on Caviar Dreams 2. It is what it is. That seemed to be the song that sparked, you know, from people talking about the last um, mixtape and it crossed over. Now he got an EP by the same title. Um, number 3, M.O.B., it's okay. I feel it got to grow on me, though. I think it's probably the hook that I don't really like, but other than that, it got to grow on me some more. No Feelings, like I said, Caviar Dreams 2 track. It's relatable, you know, honest, and I think a lot of people can identify with that record, you know what I mean? And I like the hook. It's like have a melodic sound. Uh, number five, Dance on That Work. It's a good song for his uh, flow and his lyrics. You know, the hook was okay. It was basic as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Kind of repetitive, and it can be a little bit annoying. But at the end of the day, it you know it's a cool song, dance on that work. Of course, it's about drugs. And the last track, um, a thousand pints. He honestly wasn't saying too much, you know what I mean. But the beat was hard as fuck though. That song was alright. I mean, I give this shit a three out of five. I like four out of six records. Production about three out of five. You know what I mean? It's not the best product from him. But if you was gonna go ahead and put it on iTunes, why wouldn't you just make it like a full EP with new music? You know what I'm saying? I didn't understand that, but. At the end of the day, he did what he did. I mean, it's on that piff and it's on iTunes. You feel me? The sad part is, it was on mixed. I mean, that piff, and I still wouldn't purchase it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I could have heard it and been like, mm, whatever, and didn't purchase it. So initially, it was just supposed to be on fucking iTunes because it was that's what he promoted it as. So I was like, okay, it's not gonna drop. And I go to iTunes, I couldn't even find the shit nowhere in search and then i go to that piff later in the afternoon it's like oh it dropped on that piff so i'm like let me go see and i follow him on um ig and then you see the, like you scroll around his ig and you see like the the picture that he took of the uh, link to his shit and i go there i'm like fuck it i was gonna buy it anyway so let me just go ahead and buy it so i ended up buying it so i wasted a couple dollars not on the point of it was a waste of money to buy it it wasn't but i'm just saying like i could have just heard it for free but it is what it is i'd rather support and um on the 27th uh, they put out a CD, uh, TRU, True University, him, Cap One, I mean, Cap One, Two Chains, uh, Short Dog, which is weird. I thought Short Dog was part of Young Money. I guess he not no more. I guess he rolling on Two Chains and somebody else named Schooly. So I'm looking forward to that. But y'all, y'all heard it. Let me know what y'all think. Um, yeah, I just had to drop this off to y'all. I hope my next review is a little bit entertaining and controversy. Controversial, my bad. But yeah, I just have to really speak on that. I didn't understand it. So I'm out.